thousands of dispossessed Cubans gathered to hear the president in Miami, and the promise in his words was just what they wanted to hear. I can assure you that this flag will be returned to this brigade in a free Havana. The speech was rapturously received, but in the crowd were many who blamed Kennedy for not intervening at the Bay of Pigs. U.S. authorities were now actually preventing many guerrilla raids against Castro, and some suspected Kennedy was going soft on communism. In the eyes of some CIA-trained militants, Kennedy had become a traitor to the cause. At that time, in late 1962, Jerry Hemming, ex-Marine and intelligence operative, was training anti-Castro guerrillas. He worked with some of the most violent Cuban militants, with the most passionate feelings about the exile cause. Were you ever offered money to assassinate President Kennedy? Directly. On numerous occasions. In our uh, activities, uh Seeking support for the Cuban exiles, we encountered uh, people from uh, most of the of what we'd call a varied political spectrum. Uh, the majority of them, uh, right-wingers, conservatives, anti-communists. Within these uh, elements, groups of people, there were quite a few very outspoken. As relationships developed and as time went on, some of them uh, very pointedly made statements as to how to resolve the communist menace, how to resolve Castro. Quite often it would boil down to why are we wasting our time trying to get Castro? Why don't we go to the root of the problem and eliminate the communists in Washington, the number one man, JFK?